proud to be sponsored by Diamond Bright, the car care products that have been keeping the furious fleet looking their best for a long time already. To find all you need to keep your car clean and protected, follow the link below to diamondbright.co.uk. Hello, welcome back to Furious Driving and a light update on the Crown Victoria. Now, I know a lot of you people were very interested in the rear lights in this car and how I adapted it to work in the UK. So, let's put them on and I'll show you what I did because there's been a change. Now, when I first brought this car over, what I did, I thought was quite clever. I changed the feed, I cut the feed, which mixes in here, so that previously it had only had two light bulbs on the top and that was the brake and the turn signal all in one. I then drilled holes in the bottom of these to make two more light holes, so I could put two more light bulbs in there and they could be the indicators. I then split the cables around the back of here, took the brake light feed from this and converted it to LED. So that would brake and that would indicate. And I fitted green LEDs because green through red shows amber. Bizarre I know, but that's how science works. Anyway, all was dickety boo and hunky dory for some time until a few weeks ago when we noticed that the indicators were not doing anything when I indicated the well, either an earth had gone or the LEDs had gone something wasn't happy so I had to replace these LEDs with regular incandescent bulbs which also got around the problem of the mega flash the super fast flashing which these things did nothing to solve utter trash off Amazon don't buy anyway so people were asking me how I'd done it and looking at this as a reference to how to do it I would now say don't do that because when I put incandescent bulbs in there, what happened was when I indicated and braked at the same time, the brake light would override the indicators. So not good. So the other day I had an auto electrician come around and he used this feed box here. Now sadly I missed him doing it, so I don't know exactly what he did, but he took a feed out of here to separate the indicators and the brake lights. So now, as you can see, tail lights and indicators are separate again. And when we brake, we're still indicating and everything's hunky-dory. Right, so that is light thing number one. So if you're gonna do this job, you're importing a Crown Vic or a Ford of a similar era to this thing, don't do the thing I did originally. That was wrong. Take your indicator feed from this box hidden in the boot. Right, hopefully that is helpful for someone somewhere who's doing this job. Now, secondly, the other thing, light news, is this interior light the ticket light which i needed to replace the lens on anyway because it was already cracked and taking off just then has cracked it a bit more so that was rather fortuitous so thank you enormously to wayne in canada uh, i think actually from memory lives somewhere not too remote from the uh the factory where they build these things has sent me through a couple of ticket lights with the red bit in there so i think i have to take this out to access the switch the switch the screw because there is a screw hole just there that all tallies up quite neatly so that is one of those horrible christmas tree things got that out and now can i reach or oh, find the screw hole well it's not screwed in hang on how's it held in it's just the wires i think it's just the wires clamping it together aha it's actually just the cables holding this light in. I didn't need to set the Christmas tree out at all. That was a destructive waste of time. Ow, that's surprisingly warm. So hopefully this one does work. Let's just double check before I go any further. So we've got red light for tickets, white light for night vision. Awesome. Oops, let's turn off. And that just clips into there. Keep it all neat and tidy, excellent. And we're in. Oh, it's easy as that, and the Christmas tree can go back, and I did not need to remove that at all. That was a waste of time, and we'll probably rattle now. That is awesome. So now I've got the red dome light, which I have somewhat coveted for a while on this car. 
and the white dome light for just regular stuff. Oh, I'm very happy indeed about that. And the greatest news of all is that I've actually got two of these things now, and I know I should be planning on actually fixing the engine on the two, uh, the 200, <laughs> the P6 V8. But as um, a previous owner of that one was actually in the Met Police, it would be quite cool to put a ticket light in the P6, wouldn't it? Anyway, right, this has been the shortest video ever, but just to say, tomorrow, Sunday the 12th of June 2022, I will be down at Brands Hatch with this car. This thing has been diamond brighted up the wazoo. It's already ceramic coated, but I've used ceramic foam, ceramic shampoo, uh, replenish on the tires and the plastic. It looks amazing. So yeah, do come along. Have a look and say hello. At American Speed Fest, if you wanna come and see the Crown Vic in person, come and say hello. I will be with the American Police Car or Crown Vic Group. I don't know where in um, the brand attached that will be, but I'm sure it'll be easy to find. So yeah, come and say hello. And I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, which will undoubtedly be about that little fellow again very soon. Thanks for watching, subscribe, that kind of stuff. See you soon, bye-bye.